My wife just passed away three weeks ago. And I miss her greatly. I, I, you know, I think of her all the time. And I, you know, uh, I miss her. And, uh, but I think of, you know, all the wonderful things she has done and said to me. And sometimes I thought of her when she was, you know, in discomfort. But God bless her. She had cancer that spread all over her body. But because her body cannot take uh, Western medicine, she did not take uh, the, uh, you know, the Western medicine, except she took the radiation therapy, which took away the pain. She had pain in the tumor, and the pain went away. And she was afraid of cancer all her lifetime. But then she had cancer. But in the process, she never had overwhelming pain. Actually, at most of the days, she says she had no pain. And she never lost one night of sleep. She could sleep every night. Uh, she coughed because she, uh, she had cancer in the lung too. But then it was not overwhelming. So her process was not too difficult. She always prayed to God. She said, she's not afraid of death. But she is afraid of the process of death. Mm -hmm. And she prayed to God to give her death in her sleep. Mm -hmm. And witness to God. And her breathing just slowed down in her death. And so even in the death of a Christian, God will bless us. Yes. If she, I mean a person carries so much cancer, there could be much pain. Mm -hmm. But she actually says she did not you know, very little, very little pains from time to time, but not, not overwhelming. So God honored that. Yes. And, and God gave Andrew a vision, and I believe this is a real vision, because from what uh, description of the vision, uh, I will explain that after Andrew described it. Yes. Because God gave him this gift and because of his relationship with God, gave, God gave him that vision that encourages me greatly. Alright. Um, I was woken up Saturday morning. This just last, last Saturday. Saturday. Just this last Saturday, so it came up on three weeks. And uh, it was about six in the morning. And I, the presence of God woke me up. I've never been woken up that way. Where I woke up immediately. No prayer or anything. I, I just... I woke up in the spirit and I was like, wow, this is something's up. So I asked the Lord, what's going on? Where you Immediately I was shown Rita uh, standing next to Pastor Yip with a, a picnic basket. And she had it was a large picnic basket, you know, the straw, the weaved kind of with the the flat top that opens up. And, and she was taller than he was. And as I was looking, I was looking at the fabric of that flag right there. It was sort of like there were no wrinkles in her in her material and she was taller and it was, it was like a bright it was a bright white and um, she noticed me looking at her so I caught her she caught my attention and I, I was looking at her and she looked over at me and she seen that I was looking at the basket so she took the basket and this the part what she said to you oh yeah she said uh, she, yeah, she cried out I'm free she cried mm -hmm. out yeah she killed say, say, can you say it in her tone she goes, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. She, it just kept going louder and louder. How many times she thought she said it? It was about ten times that she said it. And I've never heard Rita cry out. So, that's, yeah, that's not the way I remember Rita. Can you cry out like what you saw? I'm free, I'm free, you know, real loud. And the expression on the face, yeah, real happy. And it was honor. You know, the Lord was, was obviously using her as a messenger. And at that time, I was looking at her basket, and she seen that I was really interested. I was kind of nosy. I was kind of, <laughs> I was, I was really but you were a distance. Right? I was a distance away, and she was really close to pastor. She was I like, was sitting down, and, and she, she was, was this close, like like a guardian almost. And she I was, was sitting in church. That's his yeah. song. Uh -huh. And she went like that with the basket. And when she opened it up, all this bright light came out of it. 
You know, when we think of a picnic basket, we think we can only fill it up to a certain level, right? Mm. You can only get so many drinks or sandwiches in. Mm -hmm. This was an endless pit. Wow. And what, it, what was in there was so bright, it, it came out and it went into me. Huh. And, and I bawled like a baby for about Wait, 40 so minutes oh, wow. from what I seen in there. And she closed it and she just looked at me. I could tell that, that the basket was for his ministry. This mm -hmm. was feeling at that time, you know, feeling. I feel like, oh, wow, you're going to be blessed. That's the first thing I thought was, she was sent as a messenger. I mean, that was obvious. That, that she was commissioned in heaven to come back and deliver something, deliver the goods, you know. And, and it wasn't like, oh, there's, there's only a little bit in here. There was plenty of it. There was plenty of it. And she, all it took was a glimpse. What I got out of it was it was spiritual gifts. It was, it was a blessing. It was power. It was. It was like what it saw. It was just a speck. It just. His whole life flipped upside down. It just a flash of that light you couldn't see for days. And I was in my bed, and and I remember just crying like a baby for forty. It was about forty minutes. I looked at the clock, and it it was a rough. It was like a, a wrestling kind of cry. You know the moaning and the groaning. And, and the tears just don't stop. It was that. It was that transformation of tears. So, so what did you feel <laughs> emotionally? Right? Joy? Yeah, it was joy, but it, but it was like growth. It was it was it was a gift, you know? Mm -hmm. Blessings. Yeah, it was like a gift. It was like you open up a gift, you don't know what's in it, right? Yeah. And then you, you, you pull off all the wrapping and it's like, wow. Right on. How'd you know I wanted, you know, it, right. but it's more than that. Right. It's way more than that. Of course. Yeah. Especially when you're waking up out of a deep sleep. It was a Saturday, you know, I'm trying to sleep in. And that guy's like, I got a new route for you today, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I, I know it's a real vision. The reason is because he did not know that. Reader always say, I want to be in heaven. And, uh, and she has sickness all her lifetime. So for her, going to heaven is freedom. And that's real her. That's she really... That's what she want to say. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. But yeah. Andrew didn't know that. Actually, Andrew heard her say she want to stay and see the revival. That's an aside for her. So, um, and I believe that it was not a something, and I mean something of his mind that make up that story. And it's so clear, right? It's so clear and her, the look was so... Her appearance was different too. Yeah. She was taller. Her skin was clear, it was like, her robe had no wrinkles, yeah. so it would not be made up by Andrew or his imagination. You also told me that you saw your grandfather, can you share that to me? Yeah, when my grandfather died, you know, my grandfather led me to the Lord before I came in here, and I seen him, he was dying of cancer also, and he was a minister, and he was up in his age, and when he died, I seen him. Uh, I seen him walk in through some pillars. I don't know if that pillars were gates. So tell the situation that you saw the vision. Were you praying and saw that vision? No, I wasn't praying. It just came to me. It just came to me. I was awake. I was standing. You were standing? Yeah. And you just see that with open eyes? Right. Okay. So it was an open vision, um, unexpected. And I just seen him. Um, I seen the look on his face when he heard, he heard a choir singing to him. Yeah. Uh, and the look on his face when he heard it was just this something that threw him off. Uh, he wasn't he wasn't expecting to hear what he heard up there. Hmm. So up in heaven, this angelic choir voice that came like a wave slammed him, and he just it was like wow, all those years on earth we we did it this way, but now that I'm up here, this is really what you know. This is his worship. So. So I believe that God has given Andrew that, that uh, spiritual gift of seeing visions. And I believe those are real. When we love Him, He gives us blessing. And I believe that what Peter is bringing to me is a spiritual gift of God, and provision, and power from God. That God mm -hmm. wants to bless me in my ministry, in my promotion of revival. I want to bring revival. And I pray that the blessing will come tonight unto you all. Yeah.